In this video we are going to talk about dividend stocks every dividend investor should own. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. When it comes to investing, several frenetic traders feel that holding a stock for a year or two is considered long-term investing. In contrast, for many first-time investors, a year or two is simply the start of their investment journey. In the end, a slew of studies have been undertaken to determine the consequences of trading excessively, which can result in either significant underperformance or just an increase in fees and taxes. A much better method to adopt is that advocated by investing great Warren Buffett, who famously declared at a Berkshire Hathaway shareholder meeting that our favorite holding term is forever, you should look at the dividend stocks listed below that you can buy now and hang on to for the foreseeable future if you intend to be in it for the long haul. In the following table, you will find nine companies with a total market capitalization of more than $100 billion, each of which offers outstanding current yields of more than 2% in addition to long-term stability and growth. Number 6. Cisco Systems Inc., CSCO. Currently, the yield is 2.7%. The total market capitalization is $232 billion. Cisco, a Silicon Valley institution with a market capitalization of $232 billion and a position as one of the industry's main forces, is a $232 billion leader in corporate computing. Cisco is a Silicon Valley institution with a market capitalization of $232 billion and a position as one of the industry's main forces. Founded in Silicon Valley in 1984, Cisco has a market valuation of $232 billion and is considered to be one of the industry's dominant powers. In spite of numerous mistakes along the way, including some bizarre attempts into consumer technology with items such as its flip camera, the company has survived the test of time and continues to thrive. The company's revenue, on the other hand, has climbed, and the dividend payout has increased in tandem. Apart from that, beginning in 2011, dividends were paid out at a rate of 6 cents every quarter per share, and the rate of growth has been significant over the last decade, with dividends expected to reach 37 cents per share in 2020. Aside from that, the company is riding high right now, having set a new 52-week high in September and appears to be on the mend for the time being, despite the fact that it operates in an industry with a long-term viability that is unquestionable. Number 5. Verizon Communications Inc., VZ. Currently, the yield is 5%. The total market capitalization is $211 billion. When it comes to placing financial bets on Wall Street these days, Verizon is probably the closest thing you'll find to what you're looking for. The operations of the company, which generates more than $130 billion in annual revenue from millions of cellular, internet, fiber optic, and cable television connections, demonstrate an impressive sense of scale. A high barrier to entry for any potential competitors exists in the United States because the process of constructing a communication network is extraordinarily expensive and highly regulated. The company shares a near duopoly with its sibling telecom powerhouse AT&T Inc. T and the two companies have a strong relationship. Furthermore, because VZ is only paying out almost half of its operational income as dividends, even if the company does not grow in the future, there is plenty of room for the company to implement additional dividend increases in the near future as well. The majority of people do not believe that Verizon will be around indefinitely, unless they anticipate the collapse of the entire global communication system at some point in the future. Moreover, if this occurs, you'll be confronted with far more serious issues than simply the state of your retirement savings account. Number 4. Coca-Cola Company, KO. Currently, the yield is 3.1%. The total market capitalization is $234 billion. Stock in Coca-Cola Company has been a favorite of investment legend Warren Buffett for a long time, and for good reason. While sugary soft drinks may not be as popular as they once were in an era of more health-conscious consumers, Coca-Cola isn't exactly suffering right now, with a market capitalization of more than $230 billion and annual revenues of approximately $40 billion in the United States and other parts of the world. 
Furthermore, KO has expanded its product line beyond its famous Coca-Cola soft drinks to include juices, teas, and hydration goods such as Powerade and Smart Water to ensure that it remains relevant for many years to come as well. Also noteworthy is the fact that it has experienced around 60 years of consecutive dividend growth, providing assurance to income-oriented investors that they will be rewarded as long as they maintain this company as a long-term holding. Number 3. Procter & Gamble Company, PG. Currently, the yield is 2.5%. The total market capitalization is $343 billion. For example, Gillette Shaving Products, Pampers Diapers, and Crest Toothpaste are just a few of the well-known consumer brands made by Procter & Gamble, which also includes Gillette Razors and Pampers Diapers, as well as Crest Toothpaste. Procter & Gamble products are likely to be found in your medicine cabinet or dresser drawer, and the likelihood that you will acquire additional products from the same trusted companies the next time you go shopping is much greater. During the past 65 years, Procter & Gamble has increased its dividends at least once a year, and the company has been in operation for just short of 200 years at this point. Consumer Staples Distribution, despite the fact that it is not a high-growth or attractive company, is a good choice for investors trying to expand their portfolios over the long run. Number 2. Johnson & Johnson, J&J. &J. Currently, the yield is 2.7%. The total market capitalization is $422 billion. In the healthcare industry, J&J &J has a long and glorious history that dates back more than 130 years. It is a well-known brand that has a long and illustrious history. According to analysts, this healthcare conglomerate has a lot going for it when it comes to consumer-focused commodities such as Band-Aids and Tylenol, profitable oncology drugs, or best-in-class digital medical gadgets for operating rooms. The fact that Johnson & Johnson has the financial strength to back up its brand recognition and authority is perhaps the most eye-catching of them all. Consider the fact that Johnson & Johnson J &J, &J, is one of just two AAA-rated equities in the United States when it comes to debt ratings, the other being Microsoft Corporation MSFT. Alternatively, it is remarkable that the firm has increased its already substantial dividend once a year for a total of six decades, despite the fact that the dividend was already substantial. For long-term investing, it is impossible to find a better choice than Johnson & Johnson. Number 1. Morgan Chase & Company, ticker, JPM. Currently, the yield is 2.5%. The total market capitalization is $482 billion. JP Morgan Chase & Company, the largest of the big banks and a financial powerhouse, is not going anywhere anytime soon. Va Compass is a full-service leader, providing consumer and small business banking, as well as wealth management and high-end services to corporations and institutions. To put it another way, as long as there is money, JP Morgan will be there to assist people in making transactions, and will take a little percentage as a small charge for the privilege of doing so. To avoid worrying about the long-term consequences of a global financial crisis, it's important to remember that JP Morgan Chase fared much better during the 2008 financial crisis than many of its peers, and the company continues to be one of the best-run financial stocks in the world, thanks to the shrewd leadership of CEO Jamie Dimon. What do you think about our video? Please let us know in the comments area below. If you enjoyed this video and would want to hear from me again, please subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thank you for watching us.